about several school districts starting classes online this fall. And that decision is changing what supplies families plan on buying, right? But they could still be spending more money. So News 5's Home Abash explains how to save some money in the long run. We're now entering peak back to school shopping season, but because of the pandemic, many parents are waiting, not sure their kids will even set foot in schools this fall. This is what back to school shopping normally looks like. I love it. But these are not normal times. With many schools already planning for online learning this fall, some parents feel there's really no need to buy lots of new school clothes or even backpacks. Despite that, learning at home may actually boost sales, according to the National Retail Federation. It says parents will be buying more laptop, PCs, and iPads than ever before. As a result, shopping is expected to be 3 to 5 percent higher than last year. Despite increased spending, though, brick-and-mortar retailers may still struggle. The Retail Federation says online sales will soar this school year because families are avoiding going inside stores. In fact, 45 percent of shoppers plan to do more online shopping this year. That means if you like to browse the mall for school shopping, you'll find fewer stores open and much less merchandise on shelves when you get there. And if you need a trip to the Apple Store, keep in mind 30 percent of them are closed, including some in our area, and the open ones won't let you play with the displays anymore. The good news for parents, if stores find school clothes and merchandise not moving well by the middle of August, you can expect huge markdowns later in the month. Homa Bash, News 5. All right, so maybe push that shopping back a bit there. And if you do plan to send your kids back to school, you'll notice things like masks and more sanitizers are added to their back to school shopping list, along with the traditional items like pens and pencils and paper and crayons. So you may be wondering how to buy it all without spending a fortune. So home is going to be back tonight on News 5. Make sure you catch it with some more tips for saving more money.